ministers of parliament, leaders of business. And At the beginning of a COVID-19 ravaged year 2020, Papua LNG and Pinyang LNG projects were set to be cancelled. And in the midst of the pandemic, when PNG experienced lockdowns, the Pogera mine was also closed. This greatly affected business confidence among investors locally as well as overseas. Economic growth for the country declined towards the end of the year. But with the motto, Rescue, Recover and Rebuild, Prime Minister James Marape said this morning during the Back to Business breakfast that he is confident of restoring investor confidence by making major announcements very shortly on key resource projects. Some of you may be wondering what's happening to Wafi Golpu gold mine, what is happening to the Papua LNG project, what is happening to the Pasca gas fields, and what is happening to the Pogra gold mine uh, restart up. Uh, let me happily announce to you these projects are progressing very well, and sometimes within the next two, three, or four weeks, some of the announcements will be made in as far as progression of this project is concerned. The Prime Minister stated in September of 2020 that PNG's economy had declined by 10.7 billion kina in nominal terms by the third quarter, which is significant relative to estimated gross domestic product of 81.6 billion kina. The COVID-19 pandemic affected PNG's economy mainly in terms of GDP, expected taxation revenue and foreign currency inflows. However, Prime Minister Marape said he has been keen on getting the best deals for landowners in regards to key resource projects. You know, I've grown in an environment where I've seen you can't unlock as a democratic country resource agreements that are already signed. Those that are signed has force of law and the nations are bound to honor those agreements. And some of them pay minimal tax as we speak. Some of them, uh, we can unwind the clock. And so for me, as a sitting prime minister, it is prudent and responsible of me to try to squeeze as much as I could squeeze before I put pen to paper. Uh, that is fair for me and the future of our country. And I make no apologies if there were one or two stress and delay. But after everything is said and done, those of you who are rested in business stand to gain from the greater returns we gain from these resources. According to an economic outlook by Kina Bank, which Executive General Manager for Banking, Lesieli Taviri, based her speech upon this morning, the cancellation of Papua LNG and Pinyang LNG before the COVID-19 outbreak put a dampener on investments in resource-adjacent sectors and tilted risks in the broader economy towards the downside. Mr. Viri, speaking on behalf of CEO Greg Pawson, said the pandemic aggravated these risks and caused a number of private and commercial investments to be either delayed or cancelled outright. As a consequence, discretionary spending was impacted negatively and furthermore the closure of Pagera Mine in April amidst the pandemic added to concerns. With significant impact on GDP, expected taxation revenue and foreign currency inflows. Bank South Pacific CEO Robin Fleming also expressed the importance of announcements to be made on key resource projects at the earliest this year to provide a level of confidence for business in the country. 2021, most businesses are looking for a couple of key announcements to give them the confidence that there will be increased activity and that again relates to Barrack and government coming to agreement on Pogra so that we can get that mine back up and running and operating, getting close to 3,000 people back in full-time employment, and also the supports and services that will are needed to encourage or to support the, the Barrack mine at, at Pogra.